Welcome to Clout Street, Morning Spin, our weekday feature to catch you up with what's going on in government and politics from Chicago to Springfield. Subscribe here. Top Spin Mayor Rahm Emanuel wanted to project an image of a unified Chicago City Council on Wednesday as he joined City Clerk Anna Valencia and 16 aldermen in sponsoring a resolution calling on President Donald Trump and Congress not to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. Protecting undocumented immigrants from the president has been at the forefront of Emanuel's agenda in the months since Trump's election. And this was another opportunity to show public leadership on the issue. But when the council debated the resolution, the fraught aspects of the situation were on display. None of the council's 18 African American aldermen sponsored the resolution. And as Northwest Side old, Proco Joe Moreno, first, spoke in favor of the measure, he drew parallels between people crossing the southern border into America today from Mexico and other parts of Latin America and those who once entered the country through Ellis Island. We need to set up Ellis Island Southwest, because that's where the flow is now, he said. The Irish went through, Ald. Burke. The Polish went through, Ald. Zalewski. The Italians went through, Ald. Napolitano. The Jewish people went through. Mr. Mayor. Africans came through. There's nothing different than people from Mexico and other Latin Americans coming through. Moreno's inclusion of Africans in the Ellis Island roll call drew a rumble of dissent from several African American aldermen given that most Africans came to the U.S. as prisoners on slave ships. Minutes later, Northside Old. Harry Osterman, 48th, revisited Moreno's characterization. My good friend and colleague from the First Ward got his history a little bit wrong talking about how many African Americans come, Osterman said. He didn't do it out of spite. You get caught up when you talk. But the reality is that most of them came on slave boats. But today, we have immigrants and refugees that come from war torn African countries. John Byrne Watts on tap Mayor Rahm Emanuel will introduce Chicago Public Schools CEO Forrest Claypool and Chief Education Officer Janice Jackson at a City Club of Chicago breakfast event. Also in the morning, he'll appear at the Merchandise Mart to release a study about the Chicago health care industry. Then in the late morning, he'll speak at the reopening of the theater on the lake. Governor Bruce Rauner's public schedule wasn't available. Cook Cook Board President Tony Preckwinkle will appear at Jorge Prieto Family Health Center in Chicago in the morning to talk about the county's partnership with the Greater Chicago Food Depository. In the afternoon, she'll honor Vietnam-era veterans at an event at Brookfield Zoo. Illinois Department of Employment Security Director Jeff Mays will speak at a City Club lunch. From the notebook Duckworth unveils pre-registration plan for youths, building upon Illinois new automatic voter registration law, U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth is expected to unveil national legislation Thursday to allow the pre-registration of 16- and 17-year-olds for federal elections so they would automatically be on voter rolls when they turn 18. The measure is known as the PROVE Act, for pre-registration of voters everywhere. It's being co-sponsored in the Senate by Maryland Democratic Senator Chris Van Hollen. Companion legislation is being introduced in the House by Democratic reps. Don Bayer of Virginia and Keith Ellison of Minnesota. We should be doing everything we can to make it easier, not harder, for Americans to access the ballot box, Duckworth said in a statement. I'm proud to join my colleagues in introducing this bill to help young Americans become more civically engaged. By allowing Americans to pre register at 16 years old, we have a chance to increase voter participation and strengthen voting rights for Americans across the country. Duckworth has been a vocal critic of efforts she contends are aimed at voter suppression. She introduced legislation to repeal Trump's Election Integrity Commission, which is seeking voter data information from election officials across the country. Duckworth said the voter pre registration legislation, introduced during National Voter Registration Month, is endorsed by Common Cause, Fair Vote Action, Had Count, Project Vote, and Rock the Vote. Rick Pearson, Schneider Challenger, gets Bolton backing, 
Jeremy Wines, the announced Republican challenger to Democratic U.S. Representative Brad Schneider in the North Shore 10th District, is getting the backing of former U.N. Ambassador John Bolton and his Political Action Committee. The announcement comes as Bolton is keynoting a Wines fundraiser in Chicago on Thursday. Bolton's PAC will drop $10,000 into Wines's campaign. For more than a decade, Jeremy has advocated for thoughtful foreign policy solutions and for strengthening.